Welcome to Wild Trout Man. This adventure will be with my cousin, a lifelong fly tying and fly fishing buddy. We gave ourselves the self-proclaimed title of Team Orvis when we were kids, and over 40 years later, we still do our best to capture the spirit of the name. Camping, hiking, and fly fishing. This outing was at a subalpine backcountry Colorado lake, fly fishing for gorgeous greenback cutthroat trout. For the Rocky Mountains, this hike was a moderate six mile round trip with an elevation gain of just over 1,000 feet at an altitude just above 10,000 feet. The trailhead parking lot gets full at first light, so you must break camp early to make sure you get a parking spot. The weather was quite warm earlier in the week, so the spring thaw had the streams flowing fast. There was still snow on the peaks and also on the trail at the higher elevations, which made the day even more picturesque and memorable. Stay hydrated while hiking, and especially while becoming acclimated to the elevation, and be aware of the ever-changing weather conditions on the mountain. Get an early start because afternoon thunderstorms are not uncommon in the Colorado Rockies. The scenery is nothing short of spectacular, and once you reach one of the backcountry lakes, the beauty is quite overwhelming, with a crystal clear lake reflecting the statuesque mountains of the Continental Divide, with bristle cone and ponderosa pine trees, and a sky which can range from a lovely bright blue to a dark foreboding gray, like it was on this day. Dry flies were working quite well in the lake, and the successful patterns included terrestrials and assorted midges. A long leader and light tippet were necessary to fool these discerning trout, though they seemed to not spook quite as easily as we would have expected. Fishing the inlet and outlet are always two areas that can be rather productive, and also sight fishing for trout cruising the shoreline in search of a meal is highly recommended. It's always a treat when the fish are feeding on the surface, and catching one and witnessing the incredible beauty of a greenback cutthroat is truly a reward for the effort to hike to these distant locations. The range of colors on these magnificent trout are a stunning natural work of art, as beautiful as any color combination from Picasso or Monet. Catch and release with barbless hooks is mandatory in the Rocky Mountain National Park system. Greenback cutthroat trout are the state fish for Colorado, and they are a native species to the park, though there may have been some hybridization when they were reintroduced in the latter half of the last century. Mining, water diversion for agricultural use, and overfishing led to their near demise. They were listed as endangered, but through the efforts of Trout Unlimited, amongst others, they have been now upgraded to threatened, so great care must be taken to protect the remaining environment where they are found. They currently occupy less than 1% of their original historic range. I hope you enjoyed this intro, and now it's time for the full video of this Rocky Mountain National Park adventure from Wild Trout Man. I appreciate your support, and thank you for subscribing. All right, here's what's on the menu for tonight. How about those bad boys? This Chicago Weber steak seasoning. It is wonderful, highly recommend it. Oh yeah, look at that. I think we're ready for the grill here, Mark. Mm -hmm. Looking good. There's number one, look at that. Yum. So there it is, Bush's beans, man. <laughs> that's, that's some killer stuff. We got a sweet potato going underneath, some corn on top. That's our nourishment for catching some some cutthroat trout tomorrow, bud. It's looking pretty yummy. It is. Huh? Oh, went in nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Here's our hungry man meal, wild trout man style. Looking pretty good there.
Trying to make it to the trailhead before all the spots are taken. That's a good looking morning sky over there. Yeah, I got some color too. There's the sunrise. Peeking through. Cool. That's pretty amazing. First ever. <laughs> I was feeling the mojo. Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got a parking spot. That's that was key. Next to last parking spot at what five? It's five thirty in the morning too. Mm -hmm. so, welcome to Wild Trout Man. I'm here with my cousin Mark, a uh, longtime fly fishing and fly tying buddy. We've been uh, at it together since we were young boys. About seventh grade, maybe. Yeah. Se se seventh grade. Yeah. You know, so we're together again here in Colorado. We're uh, going to do some subalpine cutthroat, wild cutthroats in the uh, mountains here of Rocky Mountain National Park. And uh, glad you're along for the ride. Let's, uh, let's go do it. Here we go. Okay. It's 90 degrees in Boulder. So a lot of snow melt and a lot of fast moving streams coming down the mountain right now. Yeah, I mean this is kind of typical but probably a little more than usual. Mine just rose. Oh yeah. <laughs> Drop a dry fly. Get out that super atoms. Got some little brookies here. Ooh, there, there, there it goes. Two brookies. Three small, about four inches, quite a few. This is really, really cool. Little cathedral here. So we got a little feeder stream here. We just saw some brookies downstream. A little bit slower. It's not ripping through here, so we're able to see the fish. But we're after cutthroats. That's that's the job. And we got about. It's a total about about a three mile hike. We're about 2.6 miles to go to our destination. It's really beautiful here. Scenery in Rocky Mountain National Park is pretty special. All right, let's go find some cutties. No brookies today. No brookies today. Maybe tomorrow. Just saw a black squirrel right here, right by this rock here. There he is. Oh man, how cool. Look at him. Wow, he's a cutie. Look at this guy. He's looking for a little handout. <laughs> nice. Getting a pretty good workout at the gym this morning. Oh yeah, gives you a workout like that. You can see the parking lot down there. That was. We were there, what, how long ago? How long does it take to get here? Uh, maybe an hour and a half ago. Maybe an hour and a half ago, that's that's where we were. And maybe we're about halfway, right? About halfway, yeah. So we're doing about one mile an hour. <laughs> we're, we're putzing along here. Got a good bit of wind, and we're hoping the, hoping the storm holds out. Look at this little chippy. God, look at the size of him. You're eating well there, pal. All right, getting into some snow. Oh, nice. Not too shabby. I always like the sound of running water. Yeah, I, 
Yeah, the trail's in great shape. Yeah, that's a good trail. As Mark just said, we we're, we're above above snow line right now. We've got snow below us, so getting into some more rugged terrain here. Yep, getting close now. <laughs> we can feel it almost. Hands are starting to shake. I smell brookies. Yeah, pretty impressive. First snow on our boots here. Glacier country. We made it to the ice fields. Good stuff here. <laughs> if you're into adventure. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> How cool. Oh man, here we go. We got a water. Agua. I think the uh yeah. Oh, well, it's probably over there. You want okay. to check that out? First? Sure. Oh, this rose here. You see that? No. Let's go, man. Nice. Go get them. Got some risers. Don't want any glaciers to break off here and <laughs> go for a swim. <laughs> No, no. I actually I didn't see a rise. By the by the log. It's awesome. Said he got there at eight o'clock. What do we got? Like, what time is it here now? Like noon? Ten thirty. Oh, it's ten thirty. Yeah. He's been here two and a half hours. Oh, I had one on my first cast. He took it, and I just didn't hook him. Yeah. It's good sized fish too. How far out? Oh, like kind of out from that big rock. Maybe like five feet out from that big rock. The one just cruised right by my fly. Showed interest, but... Come on, come on. He's not looking at it. He doesn't want ants. All right, head on an ant. Head on like a size 14 ant. Just switched over to a 22 Griffiths gnat. Anything happening? I got two hits. They spit it out pretty quick though. Uh-huh, we'll fly. The ant. Oh, really? Yeah? Yeah. I think the midge is... Yeah, definitely the better fly right now. I put on the, just a straight Griffith snap. No hits, huh? No hits. Not a single hit, no. Do you think you want to go down the tail end and work our way up? Or yeah. That's what I was thinking here. It's quite the snow drift. 
There's one right here. Where'd he go? Oh, he just took off. Ooh, he went flying for a, something. Fish on. Nice. Nice cutthroat. Cool. On the end, the, the 12. Nice, beautiful fish, gorgeous colors. Mm -hmm. Lovely, wow. Yeah. Oh, you got video rolling, nice. Yeah. Nice job, well done. Thank you. Team Orvis <laughs> on the board. We're halfway there. We need yeah. to, uh, you to get one now. Halfway there. Pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> Scenery is spectacular. A black ant. Oh my god, that thing's deadly. Definitely fish out here. Your reel is nice and smooth. Flies out. Look at that beauty. How pretty, pretty, pretty. Colorado's finest. Yeah. So I just put on a nine foot 5X leader. I added 15 inches of 6X fluorocarbon off of that. Got a nice black ant pattern here going. A little early in the year for black ants, but it's been very warm the past week, so that's what we're going with. Ooh. Just missed one. He nosed it. Came up and nosed it. Gotta be ready for a quick draw here, man, when they take it. There's a rise. Hmm. There we go. Nice cutthroat. Little guy. Nice. Got a pretty colorful one. How beautiful. Look at the colors in that guy. So nice, really pretty. Water is like ice.
Yeah, I switched over to the trailer off the Griffith's net. I had like two hits on it, but it's really, really hard to see the fly. They must be coming up for something microscopic. They're jumping right in front of me. Oh, you got one. I saw him go for your fly. Oh, he's a nice one. He looks hefty and colorful. Yeah, he's got both size and color. Oh, I come out already? Yeah. Oh. Gorgeous. Nice. Wow. The, God, the, stunning. The color on his belly. Jeez. Wow. Really pretty. That's what it looks like. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's just a Griffith's net. Oh, it has with a, the tail on it. Oh, it's a, with a trailing shuck. Oh, um, interesting. Wow, okay. I'm seeing some black stone flies. Yeah. I just had a couple on me. Oh, lost them. On the ant. Yeah, I've been having some hits on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous cutthroat trout. Colorado Rocky Mountain National Park. Just beautiful stuff. Really amazing. Nice one. Oh, another nice one, Mark. Huh? Yeah. Really pretty fish again. Look at this beautiful fish. Flies out. How pretty. Look at that. Stunning. Barbless hooks here. Mandatory.
<laughs> Mark has one on down there too. Nice. Double header, baby. Really nice cutthroat. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, those black spots, very yeah. outstanding on them. Beautiful. That was a nice battle. I had him on twice. Really, really picturesque pink guy. Great colors. Ooh, oh, 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 we just flat. Did you see a flash at it? No, but I can just tell by your reaction. This is a foam bodied ant that just floats really well. It's got the little bit of yellow dorsally on the back side so you're able to see it and uh, it's just warm enough now that these ants are coming out and the cutthroat are keying on them Stunning colors, gorgeous fish, 6X tippet, fluorocarbon, the fluorocarbon's really doing the job here, these guys are pretty selective so. Been doing better with this water that's flowing a little, little faster here, it's easier to they don't get as much of a chance to look at the fly, so they're not as selective here. I put some more floating on my fly. I'm having trouble seeing it. Got the trusty Aquel. Float it much better at that. That run was much easier to see my fly. Working the snowbank. We got some sun breaking through. Yeah. Oh, there, there's a guy cruising. Look at this guy coming down. at all. ice sheet cracked between this morning and this afternoon how cool how amazing good thing we weren't standing on that thing when that happened geez wow look at that that must have been a noise 
Because we were probably out, like right on that edge right there. I think so. No shoes. Look at this tree. It's saying, take my picture. <laughs> this is too cool. We should go out to that island. Right out there. Sunny out. It'd be easier to spot them. But uh, I mean, all along here, this is all like prime. Nice little avalanche area on that opposite side there too. Rock avalanche. Look at that. Oh yeah, looks like a bunch. I was hoping maybe in this little common area. Uh-huh. fish up at uh, Glass Lake. We <laughs> wanted to just double check and see what kind of fish it is. Oh, that's a cutthroat. Yes. <laughs> that's yeah. what he thought. <laughs> On the board. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Chalk it up. Yeah, yeah. Dude, first I, one was, ever. I was so excited. Cool. <laughs> yeah. what, a, what a gorgeous fish. So yeah. beautiful. We're from Florida, so yeah. I usually fish in like North Carolina. Yeah. Ooh. Rookies and up there. Yeah. Not over here. Rainbows, browns, and brooks. Right. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. So nice. Just wanted to confirm. Absolutely. Good color on them too. Nice. Huh? Good color and nice spots. Yeah, it was beautiful. Pretty one. Mm -hmm. So it, it uh, took a lot. I fished around this side of the of, the, of this lake. About an hour and a half and didn't get anything. Oh no. So, but uh, anyways, it was good. Nice. Yep. If you have an ant on, I'd probably plop a few out there. Yeah. And uh, wouldn't be surprised at all if you, yeah. if you caught one. All right, let's. Mm -hmm. Oh, one just froze, I think. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, baby. Fish on. Look at that fish. How good was that? <laughs> you gotta pay good money for that quality guide service there. It's, it's all in the ice. It's all, <laughs> look at this. Another wild trout man moment. Courtesy of my longtime fishing bud and cousin Mark. On the ant. Just stunning. Good size and good color. Good size, good color. <laughs> Look to your left. I don't know if I was going to see a rattlesnake or a... A moose or... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We've done that as well. Yeah. Mark, uh, I know you want me to take pictures of this fish you got on here, but what's that thing coming towards us? Yeah, right. It's got like eight legs. All right. Boom. Ooh, there's one right there.
I think it swallows into the bog here. Yeah. Never be seen <laughs> Go down with the woolly mammoth. No rises anywhere. The lake has calmed down too. Yeah, well, probably the time of day. It's 345, so probably just nothing hatching right now. It's always ants hatching. Best bet might be to find these little nooks and crannies along the shoreline where uh -huh. trout are just kind of hanging out. Yeah, and... looking for ants. Mm -hmm. Watch, there's probably like two or three of them back behind us here. Yeah. <laughs> I know where went to, though. Hunting, hunting cutthroats. They usually patrol like a a defined kind of small area. They keep circling back? Yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, we'll find another one. You might want to just head up to the inlet too. Yeah, no, that's where I'm, I'm definitely, was my intention to head up there. It's looking pretty fishy here. Yeah, I caught fish right here. You know. See that fish? No. Nice good, one? Good 10, 11 inches. Yeah. That's a picture right there. Look at how beautiful. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. No, oh, really nice float through there. Yeah. Yeah, nail it. That was a great float there. Look at that boom, right down the feeding lane. You see a torpedo come flying out of the bottom. Or caught one. Did you get a bomber? On the ant? Yeah. You see him rise? No, it's maybe 10 inches, but uh, yeah, nice color. Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah, stunning. Gee, what a beautiful fish. Yeah. On a 18. Ant. Oh, a small ant. Yeah, small ant. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go down low here, try and get in there. Ooh, look at those two right there. Oh yeah, huh? Two decent sized fish there. I'm gonna give them a whirl first. Okay. Looks like that mud is working its way down. 
Yeah. Boy, it's really deep here. It is, yeah. Oh. Paradox, maybe. Yeah. Hey, they're not looking up at all right now. Is that a rise or is that bubbles? That must be bubbles. Ooh. Oh, missed them. Wasn't paying attention, it was a nice fish. He's hungry, man. Good cast. Was that you? I think it was, yeah. yeah. I'm oh, oh, Mark, Mark, Mark. Yeah. I think there's a, it looks like midges on the surface, doesn't it? Like a cluster of yeah. midges. And... Just a ton of midges on the water. Oh man, nice fish. Got on Matt's midge. Oh, this guy's belly's heavy. Another gorgeous cutthroat here. So beautiful. Look at those cuts under the chin there. Water is like ice. Whew. Getting some really cool pictures of you. Mark's got one. Their mission accomplished. Nice, beautiful cutthroat. <laughs> Team Morvis with the double header here. You he got a nice yeah. one. And the dead. Was yours on the ant? Yeah. Mine was on the mat smidge. I had two other hits on it. And I had two over there too. Look at how pretty that fish is. Me to be in. <laughs> it's hard to pick a bad spot. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> 
see these ants. All right, pretty uh, pretty fun day here. The uh, whole wild trout guys uh, in the Rocky Mountain National Park. We hit the uh, had a lot of action on dry flies exclusively. I think we didn't. I don't think I used. I didn't use anything subsurface. Yeah, all top uh, top water for me too. Ants, assorted ants, and Griffith's gnat, and Matt's midge, and other midge patterns were, were working well. So, uh, just to catch one and having this beautiful cutthroat come up, wild, wild trout here for Colorado. Just an excellent day. The scenery's just spectacular. To be out, be in good company, see this breathtaking stuff, you know. And the weather cooperated too. Oh my God, we, we were prepared for rain, got our rain, rain jackets with us. Uh, certainly hungry now, so we're headed back to our camp and we'll fire up some dinner. Definitely rest, I, I pushed. Carrying, carrying uh, too much camera gear. <laughs> we'll always bring some extra stuff and some of it you don't use. And, we didn't see too much big wildlife, big game, but I bring my my camera, my my zoom lens for that in case we happen to hit any moose or bighorn sheep or elk or you know anything. Hopefully not any uh, mountain lions. <laughs> All right, so successful day. We'll uh, see you soon and. Until next time, Wild Trout Man, thank you for watching. All right, man, Team Orvis, well done, well played. Look at the clouds up there now. Look at that, ha ha. The gods are restless. That's what we just came from. <laughs> Got out just in time. Big nasties going on here. And then the skies opened and the rain fell. <laughs>